Hi guys, my name is Jordan Moldes and in this video I will show you how to block shapes with clay in Masterpiece Creator. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, import my reference. For me, everything is about the reference. With Masterpiece it's super easy to import your references and have it around you all the time. I'm going to put them farther away so they are not in the middle of my work. First thing what I'm gonna do is is press my symmetric my mirror so I I am able to work with it. And the main idea in my workflow is create the main shapes always at the beginning is about the, the main shape. When I'm happy with this main shape, I will be uh, going further, but right now it's everything about the main shape. Because where we are, are going to work on detail if we don't have a clear base of work. So first, we're going to establish the silhouette, the volumes. So right now we have our floor, important. I suggest you go and rename your clay layers because at the end of the day or while you're working it's gonna be easy for you if you have it all very clean and tidy. And I'm in resolution 4, I'm going to downsize the resolution to 2. Because right now I don't want to get details. Okay. Okay. Okay, in this shape we're going to establish the whole mass of the body. Trying to mimic the valley shape down there. So the idea is not spend too much time on this because for me it's about flow and, and not details. Let me explain you that. When you are working on a piece for more than an hour, you get really attached with it. And the main idea here is not being attached of your piece, is being able to work on 30 minutes. I like the shape, but right now it's so big that I need it to be, yeah. But it's too close to the floor. Yep. Okay, so this is gonna be my body shape. Body. Always watching at the reference, in this case I'm gonna watch this beautiful reference I have in black, black and white. I guess as fast as we can to have the main shape. The nice part of, the nice thing of this part is that you can move things around with the move tool. The move tool here is your friend, so <laughs> watch it and, and and try to master it because you can get a lot of nice things with it. So I'm gonna work on one layer for both legs, front and back, another layer for the home body, another layer for the head, and at the end I'm gonna start creating new layers for volumes that I need to insert in my finished model. Now that we have the shape of the mesh legs, we're going to try to work on the body, because as we see the butt is not very flattering and it's not following the reference. So I take my move tool and I start to move 
everything between move tool a smooth a smooth tool and also i'm gonna be working with erase and bulge you can find really nice shapes and always it's not about the detail it's about the shapes so yes right now we have something better than three minutes ago and let's go to create the head I duplicate okay I'm gonna rename why I do this because I want every layer has the same mirror and creator has a very nice thing that you can you can align your layers and <clears throat> and work with the same symmetry but uh, when you're posing you can have a different symmetry for your body and your head that could be nice when you try to just turn a little bit your head and still working on it without losing your symmetry So you see how the shapes are appearing and everything is looking how it's supposed to look. And I'm happy. <laughs> For me, Masterpiece Creator is like going to childhood again or being able to play with sounding home. So it's very cool how you can very fast can create and establish the main shapes for this piece. You see, the best part of having reference in front of me is that I'm able to watch all these things that I'm not able to keep in my mind because uh, I don't have a photographic memory, <laughs> even though I try to develop. So, reference is the key. If you want to create a nice piece of art, relay on your reference. Because they always tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna create another layer, body, head. And let's go to duplicate head. I'm going to delete what I've got. And. Uh, I'll create some eyes. Can this remind me of a walrus in the mouth? We're wrapping shapes and it's looking cool. So that's the idea to create something believable and funny. I love to do these exercises because at the end of the day, uh, if, if you uh, start doing these once a week and like it and, and go up with your consistency, if you if if you go and do one of those a day, like twenty minutes, forty minutes, as a study, uh, you will improve super fast, and 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 you will start start to understand shapes and 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 clay in another way. I'm really happy with with where I got. I always create a separate mesh for the eyes and block it because the eyes didn't move or, or didn't deform. 
So let's go. They have a little, uh, really small eyes. Yes. Not perfect, but readable. That's what we want right now. But yeah, I'm starting to see my hippo. That's nice. It's a nice feeling when you're working in something and, and suddenly the shape and the stars align and your piece is starting to, to get together. So yeah, I, I really love this part of the work. Now I'm having a nice base. I will start to increase resolutions and see what's happened. So the first thing that I'm gonna increase is the head. There is a really low resolution. We can see a difference right now in here. I'm also going to uh, select this set resolution five. You can see that as I am moving forward and getting more resolution, I'm getting more details. <laughs> I wasn't afraid of, I wasn't uh, taking care of this at first, but yeah, right now is the time to go on secondary details. We are not going to try to do uh skin pores or nothing like that you're just trying to put some wrinkles some uh masses that are gonna be important and make the piece more readable it's interesting how all the shapes combined together can look so cool <laughs> and create the whole sculpt really like how it looks and as you can see it's all about tiny pieces of clay intersecting with each other and creating these nice effects to really mimic uh, the form of the hippo and also wrinkles and more deep volumes okay so now I'm going to select my body details, my body, and merge layers. Yay! You see that we have nice one piece with all the wrinkles that I need. Awesome. I just need to soften down some parts that don't need to be as crease others so body head merge yes right now I have everything in just one piece that is very cool to work Right now we have a very nice base to really start working on it and get the tertiary details. But as you can see in today's video, 
we develop a very nice uh, study from these final pictures. I hope you like it and enjoy it. And share your thoughts and send a message if you want. If you have any doubt or something that you want to ask, send a message and I'll be more than glad to help. Or I bought in less than two hours. Hope you enjoy it and hope you get uh, some ideas on how to develop your concept with clay in Masterpiece Creator. Bye.